Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video will gonna discuss 15 IntelliJ idea shortcuts that will be make your life easier. Okay, so if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side. Okay, so if you see uh, this is my channel and here lot of other videos are there like uh, microservice architecture a complete series throw throws final finally finalize and am git with the intellij idea crowd operations json complete series and lot of java features and if you don't know kafka so there is a complete uh, a playlist for you for kafka series with end-to-end -end applications a lot of other videos are there you can explore them as well if you are really interested okay uh, so let's uh, start today's topic IntelliJ idea shortcuts so already have posted shortcuts for Eclipse and I will give this link to the description section so you can leverage it as well okay so, so let's jump into IntelliJ idea okay so this is my IntelliJ idea uh, IDE and if you see this is very colorful you know some black with uh, different uh, eye catching colors okay so uh, if you want this uh, appearance in your IDE then you need to install some themes okay so already I have made a video how to install different colorful themes uh, that one also I will add into the description section so you can uh, leverage that link as well. Okay, so let's start today's topic different shortcuts. Okay, so first control H the type hierarchy. Let me explain you what exactly this type hierarchy. So, for example, if you have an interface, for example, this is uh, whether it's an interface or class, doesn't matter if you want to see what are all those implementation classes of that interface or what are all the extended classes of that particular class for example here bank if you want to see all that extended classes control h the c sbi is coming so this sbi class is extends from bank similarly if you will see here a list is there right so list is the interface let's see what are the different implementation just uh, select this list and control H just see here a lot of implementation classes are coming right so array list and vector and linked list different uh, things are coming okay so hope you got it the first one moving to next one to check what are the methods present inside a class this is also very important uh, that shortcut if you want to see what are all the methods present inside a class for example in this class for my example I do have do some change and main method two methods are present right suppose if you have a class and you want to see what are the different kinds of methods are present just simple do you know, what is that one let me check control f12 control and f12 so here you will see do some changes main those methods are coming over there control f12 okay so if you want see if you want to see some inherited methods you can see by clicking this one okay if you want to see some anonymous class if anything is there you can see okay if you want to see lambdas you can click this one as well okay uh, so hope you got it moving to next one method call hierarchy suppose this is a method do something right so if you want to see who all are calling this method do something this do some sense this method is there so who all are calling this method simple control select this method by double clicking here control alt h so there's a c side final example main in this class final example inside main method this do some changes is there 
okay like this you can check where all a particular method is called okay hope you got it moving to next one this is very uh, useful for finding a class even from jar so uh, just you just you know that class name so just you wa want to see that class and where it's present okay uh, for example you know sba class is there in my project or in a jar you want to see that class how we'll see simple control n and sbi just see here it is showing sbi com dot example and if you double click it will go to that particular class another example control n array list array list just see array list is coming from java.util package and from rt.jar if you want double click here it will go to that particular class this is very uh, useful and very powerful a lot of time we will use uh, while developing applications okay uh, so again i'm uh, uh, again i'm specifying this these shortcuts are for windows operating system this is not for mac these are windows operating system this is for windows operating system moving to next one uh, for finding any resource or file including xml and anything okay so you are developing your project and you want to search a particular file some properties files are there or some xml files are there you want to search those things so how will how will search control shift n the see files if you want if you want to include non project files then just click here so for now i do not have any such files but anyway we will search this one just see left hand side final hyphen hyphen finalize sorry final finally finalize dot iml will search this one final just see it's coming final finally finalize dot iml okay if you want just click this one it will go to that particular file this is also a very important or powerful shortcut a lot of time uh, you will use in your project if you want to search some file where exactly it's located or if you want to see that content of that file like uh, different properties file will be there in your spring boot applications or different xml files will be there uh, that time you need to use this uh, shortcut okay moving into next one organize imports for example lot of unused imports are there in your uh, in your class uh, suppose here uh, let me have something java dot util dot array list let me have array list array list okay so this is this is not at all used like right uh, cannot result symbol okay array list we are using right okay suppose uh, duplicate and uh, unused imports are there and on the fly you want to remove those imports okay how i'll do this one control alt o the c it's removed removed one import so it will remove unused imports lot of time uh, before pushing our code to uh, repository will will have to uh, make our code clean and remove unused imports so that time you can do control alt o to remove unused imports and you know this uh, control and this last for uh, commenting and uncommenting blocks if you want single line just do control and uh, always i will confuse this is forward or backwards last whatever it is <laughs> you can type control and this one this uh, this symbol i always confuse this one whether it's a forward or backward so this symbol you can type this symbol okay control and this one here we go and if you want multiple uh, multiple line comments simple control shift and this symbol this last symbol okay control shift this one just select whatever the things you want to comment control shift and that's last symbol just see it's a multi line comment you can do this one as well and if you want to remove this comment again select that particular syntax or code control shift control shift and again that particular symbol this symbol okay 
sorry my bad <laughs> my bad i am very confusing these symbols whether it's a forward or backward slash so whatever it is you can use this one okay moving to next one it's a uh, find in path text in a project uh, for example here if you see my registration number this particular string my registration number if you want to search some particular string in your project how will do how will do control shift f so it will show that a particular string in your entire project it will search your files in entire project and it will identify some particular strings for example here i have searched registration number okay uh, so it's identifying final int my registration number for example let me search this args here if you'll see this args is there right so let's search args args let's see in my project so final finally finalize i have uh three four four instance test.java final example.java finally example.java finalize example.java right so like this if you want to search a particular string in your or particular word in your project then you can do like this okay so here you can specify um, other things as well okay hope you got it and if you want to find and replace so control shift f is for finding and control shift r plus find and replace okay so let's do that on control shift r so it will find and if you want to replace how will replace so let's have this my registration number and let's change to this one registration number okay let's see here my registration number is there and i want to change this my registration number to regd number okay and uh, here okay so here we go and enter okay just see it's got changed to registration number okay hope you uh, got this shortcut as well if you want to search something uh, in your project and you want to replace that particular string with some different uh, string you can do this one control shift r as well moving into next one uh, formatting so again while pushing our code to repository we need to clean up our code we need to proper indentation and format uh, format of that code so how how we'll do this one for example this is my uh, code and i want to format this one so how i'll do control alt l the c is getting formatted okay this is also very important uh, you need to remember this one and control f and control r if you want to find something in your file current file control f suppose i want to find this al you can search al and uh, if you want some other sorry if you want to replace control r so find and replace suppose al uh, whether it's a control r or what not control r yes control r let's have this one control r just see at the at that below replace replace all is coming right so al uh, let me put uh, replaces al to uh, list uh, okay replace or replace or if you want to replace all uh, just to replace all if you want to replace a single instance then you can do replace oh my bad so <laughs> very careful while doing here mm, it should be uh, mass case okay mesh case also it's uh, taking something weird things <laughs> okay so let's have this one okay and replace okay so here just see uh, it's replaced the that al2 list okay hope you got it uh, let me moving into next one 
then uh, open editors okay so what are the different files is opened in your editor for example currently one two three four and some other five files are there right if you want to see uh, all those all those tabs whatever it's open all those files whatever it is open uh, just simple uh, hit control e and it will show here all those files whatever it's open in your uh, windows not windows this ide and it's very handy to uh, switch different files or moving into different files because anyway in this tab you will see hardly uh, 4 to 5 or 5 to 6 number of tabs right if you want to switch to different other tabs you can have control E and you can move to uh, that particular class okay hope you got it moving to next one control alt uh, right key and control alt left arrow so this is required to navigate to different files or uh, that forward or backward right so control alt back so where from where i am coming uh, it will go to that particular uh, lines and all right if you want to go forward you can move this forward right control alt uh, forward key control alt sorry not forward key control alt forward arrow control alt backward arrow okay uh, then coming into java doc if you want to generate java doc for your class file or method level you can simple do like this this slash and put double star and hit enter and if method level if you want let me put in the method level again it's slash and put double star and hit enter okay this is pretty as awesome uh, uh, definitely we need java docs in our method level and class level to a uh, half documentation okay this is the best practice we need to do moving to next one last but not the least control y to delete a line if you want to delete a line how i'll do this uh, control just uh put your cursor to that particular line and do control y and delete line okay let me do control z so this is that uh uh different uh, shortcuts we have covered and these are really really very powerful and useful while developing your project so being a experienced refresher you need uh, these handy uh, shortcuts okay uh, so hope you guys got a crystal clear picture uh, about different shortcuts so uh, again i will ask you something so just see a uh, lot of people are watching my videos but still they are not subscribe this channel if you see here 97.2 percent are not subscribers okay so if you have uh, not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side right so if you want some other videos let me know in the comment section then definitely i will upload those videos as well right so thank you for watching have a nice day